Hi guys, Paul Pluter on the Paul Pluter channel. Today guys, I'm doing an urgent paid review, express review. This is urgent review 20A45. This is for <clears throat> my good friend John. John? And he's uh, he's asking for a, a review. Uh, he's a uh, quick whist watch check. What am I wearing today? Paddock Philip. Paddock Philly 5196 yellow gold color travel. Okie dokie. AC3. Hi, mate. I've just sent you 150 for a review. I am fucking bored out of my mind since the virus has shut down everything. So I thought, why not get some brutally honest feedback from the pontiff? From the pontiff. Uh, finally, what's your thoughts <clears throat> on the. 5297G Diamond Bezel. I'm in the market for a dress watch. Black leather with white gold combo. Thanks again for your content. Keeping us all entertained du during this global pandemic. Regards, John. So this was the uh, this was a quite an interesting review. He's got a beautiful, as you can see on the screen there, a really nice, cool collection. Very, very nice collection indeed there uh, let's 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 uh let's have a bit of a a sticky beak at this because i like to um i like to just probe a little bit there i'm just going to make sure i've got everything uh let's have a look let's have a look there we have a look there we go oh <clears throat> he sent me another thing there too he says Thanks for the update. I look forward to it. I'm also a fan of Lange, so would consider a white gold black strap from them as a dress watch. However, I've already tried on the Lange one. I love the look at it, but not practical. Not the practicality. It was not so as easy to tell the time as I would have liked. My eyes couldn't adjust to the dial quickly. I think I was thinking maybe a Saxonia with diamond bezel. Anyhow. The main points of the reply is to ask you one final question. What watch would you suggest to buy a newly born boy with the intent to give it to him as a present 21 years later? Basically, buy it in the same year as his birth, which is 2020. This will remain in the box with full papers and will never be worn. Cheers, John. So we've got a bit of an interesting twist here. So I was just checking to make sure <clears throat> I have... Uh, Fulfilled his requirements. So let's firstly, let's start by, <coughs> let's go through his collection. Here we go. So here we go. First thing we've got is a Patek 227. Patek 227. It appears to be in, is that, I think that's rose gold. The 5227. So what is this watch? It's a Calatrava. It's nice big size. And it's got the hinged back, the hinged back, the officer's watch. It's kind of a, when if you combine the Patek 5127 with a 5153, that was the officer's watch, this is what you'd get. And it's very expensive, then not cheap, not cheap at all. It's a beautiful Patek Philippe. Um, one of my all-time favorites, all-time favorites. I really do love it. The next watch we've got is a Rolex Day Date, Day Date 40, Day Date 40, which I've got to be honest with you there. I, 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 I used to really, really like, I had the 36, but let's be honest, it's not the 90s anymore. This is 2020. To be totally honest with you, I think the Day Date 40 is the perfect size. The Day Date 2, in my opinion, too big, too big, too big. The 36 mil, it was nice, but that's from the fucking 80s. It's 80s, 80s, 80s watch. Whereas the 40, just perfect, just perfect. And please, whatever you do, do not put on any aftermarket parts. No aftermarket parts. They are not cool. Next piece we've got is a Rolex, Rolex Yachtmaster 42 beautiful that is a it's a gorgeous gorgeous piece his yacht master is on the rubber rubber that's the um that's <clears throat> that's on the that's on the, the white gold i think is the white gold on the rubber rubber that's correct it's an it's, it's a great watch great watch 
great watch indeed <clears throat> and then then we have a Rolex Daytona blue dial my god my god my god beautiful absolutely beautiful white gold stealth wealth absolute I actually prefer the blue dial to the green version they've got absolutely absolutely then we've got interesting we've got a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 42 I own that watch and I gotta tell you I fucking miss it I miss it the shark mesh is killer uh, the 42, I had the 46 later on. Too big, too big. 46, far too big. 42, absolutely perfect. It looks to me like a, a sub, a vintage sub, because it doesn't have the crown guard. So it's it's cool. And then, of course, we've got an Amiga Speedmaster. Man on the moon! Man on the moon. What, why not? And I've got to tell you, this photo he sent me, he sent me some photos. It pops one two three four five six watches absolutely pops absolutely pops this is not a cheap collection and we've got some nice steel pieces there um <clears throat> so i'm fucking bored out of my mind uh i get some brutally honest feedback from the pontiff to be honest with you i love your collection i really do I think you've got a beautiful range of watches. What I really do enjoy is 5227 Classic Calatrava. Expensive, expensive, expensive. Very expensive. Gorgeous. Absolutely. I mean, I, I criticize it a bit. I say, look, is it worth the money? Because it's got the hinge back, which adds about $10,000 to the price. But it is fucking cool. Paul Brittany's got one. Paul Brittany. I'm going to put a link. Click on the little question mark either that side or that side i'll link it to a article from gq paul Brittany. he he owns one and i tell you what he's he's a fucking cool guy he was in um margin call margin call so he's he's cool as fuck he's got one of those um <clears throat> the other the day date 40 if you've got a fucking 5227, I'm going to allow you to have a yellow gold president. Okay? That's okay. That's okay. You get that. I'm glad it's not the fucking 36 girly size one. The 40, perfect. Then we've got the beautiful white gold Daytona. Class, class, class. we got the Yachtmeister. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then we've got two steel stunners. The Breitling 42 Super Ocean Heritage. And I can see it's the ceramic. And we've got an Amiga Speedmaster. Man on the moon! Man on the moon! What do I think of this collection? I think it fucking pops! It really, 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 really pops. I look at this photo. like You can see the photo. On the, I look at this photo. I probably looked at this photo for 10 minutes. Because it's just... It's more than the sum of the watches. It just fucking pops. I look at this and think, fuck, you know, Archie. I could have a collection like this. This is superb. They're fucking, it's amazing. It's amazing. He's got, uh, uh, fuck. I, I wish I could have happiness like that. I wish I could find happiness like that, but I, I can't. I can't. Mind you, there is a lot of fucking money. I don't think my collection is... Uh, it, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love the Breitling 42. I don't know why I sold mine. I sold it because I... The sickness got out of hand. I, I, wanted, I turned it into a Rolex. <clears throat> and then I turned that into a paddock. Well, I, I really do miss the 42 mil. Um, I miss the 42 mil Breitling. That's... A, Fucking beautiful watch. Yes, I do. I think that's a great watch. It's a great watch. Uh, I love everything about it. <clears throat> Man, I, I just can't stop looking at the photo. Okay, I, I print out the run sheets. I've, I've got a color version on my phone because sometimes I fuck up the metal colors. Um, I, I really fucking like it. I think it's beautiful. There's nothing I can say is wrong with that collection there. So, uh, now, your next question is, you said to me, you're looking at getting a five two nine seven let's let me have a look at this here five 
5297, which I think is like the Paddock 5296, except it has the the diamonds, which it's actually quite, yes, 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 okay, okay. Uh, what do I think of it? Uh, it's fucking gorgeous. Yeah, it, it is absolutely fucking gorgeous. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, it's fucking gorgeous, okay? However, however, if I was you, I would possibly get myself... I'm only saying this because I love you. Okay, so if it was me, I'd rather get a Paddock World Time 5230. Okay, you don't buy second hand from the shit you've got there. I'm not going to convince you to buy second hand. If you're going to buy second hand, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. I'd get a fucking World Time, white gold World Time 5230. I think that's better buying than a 5297. Yeah, that's what I do. Get the fucking world time. Get a world time. Modern world time. Beautiful. Now, you've also said to me, you also said to me, you were looking at, you were looking at, um, so I, personally, Lang A, look, look, Lang A itself there, what do I think? i got to be totally honest, because you've got a small compact collection. I think it's really cool to have two paddocks, okay? If you had two or three paddocks, sure, then you could add a Lange. But in your case, I reckon there's much more kudos in adding another paddock. The other thing is, too, with the Langes, uh, you haven't bonded to the Lange one. I thought that would be a perfect model. Um, I think the paddocks, you're going to have a lot more retained value. If you're buying new, I, 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 I guess you're buying new, you're much better off to buy Paddock. If you're going to fucking buy new, Rolex and Paddock, that's the two brands that you buy new. So even though I like Lange, I, I, would, I would highly recommend you forget Lange. In my opinion, I think Paddock is better than Lange. Okay, don't tell, don't tell anyone that because they get upset. Lange people get funny. But Lange is owned by Richmond. I'd rather have Paddock. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have Paddock, okay? That's 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 my own opinion there. <clears throat> so, um, in my opinion, get a Paddock. Now, if you do get the, the diamond studded um, 5297G, beautiful, 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 beautiful. If you do buy the... Um, the world time, absolutely beautiful. So that's definitely what I'd be doing. Now, to answer your question, the one that I, the question I really love here is, what do you buy? So, fuck me dead. This, now, don't spoil the boy. You must give this watch to him when he turns 21. Don't give it to him before. I gave my kids, my two eldest kids, a Rolex when they were young. And they asked me to sell it. Okay. Back, back. You got to give it to him, 21 or or maybe yeah 21 21 21. What would I get? <clears throat> what would I get? So so you, you're giving a boy. So okay, we, he's a boy. You want to give something timeless, classic, um, something that doesn't date. Now I got to be totally honest with you. I think. Uh, something Patek. The problem is if you give a Patek to a 21-year-old man, he's going to realize it's really valuable, put it away. He's not going to wear it. I think you're much better off, personally. I think two things you could either do, okay? Two things. Number one would be Steel Sports Rolex. And number two because we are in a pandemic and I don't know how tight money has got since you made this general donation. Amiga Speedmaster, some sort of Speedmaster, whether it's a first Amiga in space or the uh, Amiga Speedmaster man on the moon in the big fuck off box. I reckon that'd be a great gift. 
remember <laughs> you'd never really want to spoil these kids too much if you you give them too much they turn out to be little fucking shits so <clears throat> i don't i think the worst thing in life oscar wilde said the two the big injustice in life is not getting what you want and the even bigger injustice is getting everything you want so <clears throat> i think i think you Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. I got to be honest with you there. I think you're best to give something that is not over the top in expense and cost, but something that is very useful and something he can use every day. Uh, I mean, look, look, you could you could give like a, a paddock if you if you if you're so inclined, but I think a paddock sets the wrong tone because a paddock, it's not something you really um, it's not something you really can wear every day. It's a delicate watch. Uh, for a guy in his 20s, look, he's interested in dating. He's in, interested in, in pussy and beer, you know, and, 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 and so I, I think the best thing you can do is get him a, just a very good utilitarian watch that is, is steel sports. Steel sports. And, and I, I think some excellent choices would be the Explorer 1. Probably 36 mil would be too small. But the 39, that's a good modern size. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just right. Uh, I think a Milgauss. Any of the Milgausses would be cool. Uh, maybe a, uh, a Air King. Air King is another great, great choice there. Um, I would say um, some, some other watches. You know, I think Rolex is probably the best because of the fact that it is so utilitarian it's a safe bet it's it doesn't really age their timeless classics uh so i i i would 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 seriously say um um i think the best thing you can do is 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 to get just a very 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 cool sort of watch uh I, still sports still sports i think the upper end if you really wanted to go crazy, I wouldn't. Get, I wouldn't go over this. I would say Submarina steel Submarina with date, Rolex steel Submarina with date. Uh, I would say Rolex uh, GMT, like a Batman or a or a, um, a Pepsi. That'd be great. Um, I would say. I would probably say. You're better off to go for no a no date. Just a simple, elegant. Like I reckon the Explorer One, home run, absolute home run. I mean the Oyster Perpetuals. No, I would go to a sports. I think for the just a little bit extra money, get yourself into sports. I I think ideally Explorer One, thirty nine mil would be that would just nail it. Absolutely nail it. Uh, definitely. You know something? I know a guy who has done this. He's given watches to his kids. And, you know, I kind of think, um, yeah, it's cool, but sometimes you don't want to spoil these kids. You know, you've got to be a bit careful. Sometimes you don't appreciate things that are given to you. Sometimes you've got to make it on your own. Get You give them a taste for it. I, I think an Explorer 1 is ideal. That's what I think would be I. Deal. It's not too ridiculous and precious. It's 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 just elegant. Um, it's not over the top, and it's something you just wear. Wear it. Wear it. Don't don't hoard it. Wear it. Um, so that's. I reckon an Explorer One would be absolutely ideal. Uh, couldn't think of a better. <clears throat> couldn't could not think of a better watch um, to have than Explorer One. <clears throat> I wouldn't go two-tone. I wouldn't go precious metal. This is something you want him to use, not sort of uh, 
just put in the safe. That's such a waste. So uh, Steel Sports, if your budget's a bit lower, you know, we're in Corona times, for God's sake. I'd possibly say, I reckon the, the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon is another fantastic watch. Fan, fan, fantastic. Absolutely uh, iconic. Um, that's, that's a great watch. Uh, another watch, Tudor, would I go Tudor? Look, I think Tudor is very cool. Tudor's cool. You could possibly go Tudor. I think if you've got the money, the optimum point, the optimum point, I'd say, would be an Explorer one. 39mm Explorer one. That just nails it. And, um, i got to be honest with you, what a lucky, lucky little critter to get that. And, um, I, I, I can't see it. No, I think that's a great. That is a great watch to get. I think that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So there you go. You've asked my advice and I've uh, I've given you the, the answer. So there you go, guys. Guys, like, subscribe and tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some nasty comments below. Remember, even if you are subscribed, you've got to click the bell twice to get the updates. You want the updates. The, the Google has changed the rules here on YouTube. So got to have the updates coming. Guys, I would also like to say to you, these paid reviews, this is what keeps me going. Paid reviews. It's what pays the bill. So without these paid reviews, I cannot survive. So um, these paid reviews are very important to, to keeping me here. Um, Google Ads is Terrible. We're in the middle of a pandemic. Everything is is really down. The ad payment is is low. It's terrible. Uh, companies like Agoda have just put their advertising budget on hold. So these paid reviews are more important than ever. Fifty US dollars for a paid review. I'll tell you what I think of your collection. I'll give you some pointers. I'll answer some questions. Guys, I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you guys think of that and there we go one of the, the most beautiful <clears throat> pateks of modern times a key reference point in patek history the 5035 proudly part of the archie luxury wristwatch collection Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mark Goldberg for Archie Luxury AC3, the Pontiff Satan Deville. I want to sincerely thank you for having sat through this video because I know it was awful, but you know what? You do it for the greater good of humanity. Thank you so much. Now, a couple of quick pieces of homework. Now that you've watched this video, I would like you to hit thumbs up. If you must, hit thumbs down, but if you'd hit thumbs up, I would especially appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a really nasty comment and tell him how awful this content was. But most importantly of all, the entire reason that I am linking up with Archie Luxury in the first place. I am a published author. Let dogs be dogs. Available in bookstores, Amazon, and electronically somewhere near you. Remember, Archie Luxury, he's not just a figment of your imagination.